my name is Nelson Chu. Um, I'm from UMD and J New Jersey Medical School. And uh, this, my project is called Demographic Analysis of Traditional Chinese Medicine Use, or TCM, Use in China. And uh, basically, to say in a sentence, I uh, did this research uh, about a year ago to find out what, who was using TCM in China um, and to see if there's any differences between people who use TCM versus people who use Western medicine versus people who use both or some combination to see if the people who use TCM are, you know, are um, systematically poorer, systematically less educated, or more educated, or you know, with poor health outcomes. Just see, if there's like a bias in that at all. Great. Yeah. Um, what was something that was surprising to you during your research process that you weren't expecting? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I, I was uh, one of the things I was expecting is that people chose TCM because of traditional doctor choice variables, such as less waiting times, such as cheaper. Medical medical care, such as um, uh, closer, uh, you know, like a like a smaller distance to the healthcare provider, um, but in the facility level variables, I found that that wasn't the case. Like people who use TCM were um, just as uh, wealthy. Uh, the the price for TCM um, care was just as much, if not more, sometimes. Waiting for TCM was just as long, if not more, and the distance of TCM care was just as much, if not more, as well. And so people aren't choosing TCM because it's you know a, a less standard, a, a less alternative that's easier and cheaper. They're using it because they actually really want it. They use it because some other health-related beliefs behind that. So that was surprising to me. Cool. Um, I was just wondering what sort of you foresee this research playing in like your path moving forward. Are you hoping to do similar research in the future, and mm -hmm. has this inspired you to continue with TCM research? Um, yeah, so one of the things I really liked about this project was because um, I think health is such like a encompassing so many things of our lives. Like it's not just biomedical sciences, but it's also like our culture and what we believe in. And for me, you know, growing up in a very Western biomedical background, it's just, it was hard for me to see that. I was very much like, no, science is science. Like, if it's, if this trial says this, then it's this. You can't believe that. But one of the things that um, doing this project really helped me understand was that health is like part of who you are and part of your culture. And we gotta respect that. Um, on the other hand, I think that there's some, certain things we can do to try to improve that and still respect people's culture, respect people's health beliefs. Um, so that's, those are some of the things that I think people can hopefully gain from this, can glean from this kind of research, especially in the global health field arena, because there's just so much having to do with traditional health beliefs. It's not just, you know, we're going to come in and start a project and, to, and, and, and not care about what you believe in, but the best way is to use the system that's there and improve it and make it sustainable. So that's something that I hope that people can learn from that.